Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech, and in this episode of C4E Apps, we've got a few more launches that we feel you should try out, that we feel are worth your time. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first app on today's list is Action Launcher 3. This is one of the most popular launchers out there and the new update brings with it some features from the pixel launcher. Swipe up from the dock for the app drawer, the dock tint, the folder style, the date widget and so on. Quick cuts is also available which brings the nougat shortcuts by swiping up from within any compatible app. The new customizations to the old feature packed launcher makes this a must have launcher. The free version gives you an idea of how some of these features work and if you want to you can buy the premium version. The next app on today's list is one of the lightest launchers out there, the AP15 launcher. The launcher is simple and fast. It does not use the conventional icons to display the applications. Instead, they are displayed in text with their respective names. The most used apps are displayed with a bigger font. Scroll through the list, tap the name to open it. That's pretty much it. There are some customizations like wallpapers, font color and size. If you're tired of looking at the same icon layout over and over again, this might just be the breath of fresh air you need and given that this launcher is free, head on over to the description for the link to download. The next launcher on today's list is the ASAP launcher. This launcher handles widgets smartly. Instead of the traditional widgets, the app has pages for contacts, weather and so on. The bottom dock expands on swiping up, revealing the most used apps. There is also a slide in app list similar to the one found on the action launcher. Additionally, a sidebar with a ton of quick toggles like Wi-Fi and flashlight is also available. The quick bar on the home screen shows you the weather and the music controls that changes color based on the artwork of the track currently being played. You can also switch to a minimal clock instead of the quick bar by swiping up. With ASAP Launcher, the more you use it, the more comfortable you get with it. In other words, there's a little bit of a learning curve but once you get past it, this might just become your favorite launcher. It's also worth noting that there's support for themes and icon packs. Moving on, if you want a launcher which smartly manages your social media feeds, look no further than Flow Home. Flow Home gives you the latest feeds from your social media, your Twitter, Feedly, Facebook and so on. The home page displays all the posts in a well-arranged layout. You can also change the layout from a list of presets. Flow Home lets you favorite a post, open it, retweet or share. You can clear the post by swiping it away to the right. You can add widgets and access them by tapping the profile icon on top. To the bottom of the screen, there's a multifunctional icon. Tapping this opens the most used apps. Swiping up gives you the feed filter and holding the icon lets you search for apps. Swiping left from the home screen gets you the app drawer. Here, the multifunctional icon is replaced by the search icon. Moving on to the last launcher on today's list, here's something different, a launcher that adapts to your mood. One that's aptly named, your launcher. Actually, that's your launcher. UR Launcher lets you create different profiles called Moods. You can customize a mood by adding your preferred apps, widgets and wallpapers individually to each mode. Say you wanna have certain apps for productivity when you feel you wanna work or some music and ebook readers for bedtime. UR Launcher's got it all covered. The level of customization here is awesome. Users can modify an existing mood or create their own. You can give your mood a title, set up triggers to change moods automatically like a Wi-Fi network, geolocation, time schedule and so on. You can also set an app to start when a mood is activated and select a personalized app list. Coming to the home screen, swiping left gives you the quick toggle controls, recent apps along with the custom app list. Additionally, you also get icon pack support. So that's it for today's episode of C4E Apps. As always, you can find the timestamps and direct links to download these apps in the description below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button over here and also hit that subscribe button over here if you want more videos like this. And if you want, if you have any app recommendations, do make sure you tweet it out to us at C4E Tech using the hashtag C4E Apps. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.